what's up everyone and today we are going to be doing my video for who I would cast in a The Last of Us movie or I guess a dream cast if you want to put it in that way. Now The Last of Us movie is it's one of the video game movie adaptations that I'm actually looking forward to or at least I wouldn't mind if it actually happened because of course you know with Naughty Dog you've gotten shot it'd be made into a movie and now obviously The Last of Us has now pretty much gone into development hell so I thought it'd be just cool to do my cast for who I would put in the in the film, in particular because quite a few people were talking about it a few weeks ago after the Logan trailer came out and everyone saw Hugh Jackman in that and everyone was like, Hugh Jackman just has to play Joel. So, yeah, um, I thought I'd do this video. It'd just be a kind of cool, you know, new interesting video for me to do. You know, given my thoughts on who I would cast, who I think would be good in the roles if this were to be turned into a film. So yeah, uh, let's just get straight into the video now. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna be doing one actor per character. I'm not gonna have any you know alternative choices or anything like that. That I just don't personally think you can really do that. I just want to pick one person who I think would be my dream actor for that role and who I think would do the role really really well. Uh, so yeah, so let's just get straight into it and we're gonna go with the, the big role and probably one that I think most people will know the answer I'm going to give, and that is, for Joel, I would like to see Hugh Jackman portray him, because I think this is a pretty easy one. I mean, he just looks a lot like him. Uh, if anybody has seen the movie Prisoners, they'll know what I'm talking about, because he looks almost identical to Joel in that film, and I mean, even in the Logan trailer, he reminded me a lot of Joel, you know, the fact he was protecting this young girl, and obviously in Prisoners, he plays a father who's daughter goes missing and so like he goes to like these really desperate lengths to find her so his character in that film really reminded me of Joel uh, but also just because of the fact you know Hugh Jackman looks like Joel he's a great actor as well so it wouldn't be a bit of a it wouldn't be a liability to cast him and I think he could do a good job of the role we, he, like I said he's an accomplished actor he'd probably do a good job of it and he just looks a lot like Joel as well so yeah he'd probably be my Joel then we go to Ellie, and I would personally cast uh, Mackenzie Foy in this role. Um, not only because she's around the same age range of, as Ellie, because I believe she's uh, 15. And obviously Ellie in The Last of Us is 14. So it's only a year off, so that'd be... It's good for the age-wise. Also, she does look a bit like Ellie. And also, she can actually act, unlike most young actresses. And that's why I found... If, if I were the like casting, direct, casting director, I would really struggle... But eventually when I found her, I felt like she was the only real young actress that stood out to me as who, not only someone who looked like Ellie, but someone who could also actually act. Because I have actually seen her in films beforehand. Uh, she was in Interstellar. She played a um, younger uh, Murph in the film. Um, and she was really good in that film. She was probably one of the best parts of the film. She was a really, really good. So there's no doubt she can act. I mean, yeah, she might have been in Twilight, but I think we can forgive her for that. So... Um, I think that she could do a good job with the character. Like I said, she's around the same age range. Um, she l looks a bit like Ellie, and she's also a very good actress as well from what I saw of her in Interstellar. So she would be, she'd be my pick for Ellie. Then we go on to Tess, and this is kind of a more personal pick, but I would personally go with uh, Trieste Kelly Dunn to play Tess. Uh, she, she is probably, in my opinion, one of the most underrated actresses working in film and TV. I think she's absolutely amazing in everything that she's in. Um, she's just really, really good. And I do feel like it would be awesome to see her in this role because, I mean, she does look, she looks like Tess. She's a really, really good actress. I think she'd pull the role off really well. And in particular, because from a lot of the things that I've seen her in, she's really good at playing these very strong, you know, female characters. You know, her character in Banshee of, you know, Siobhan Kelly, she's probably one of my favourite characters on the show because of how well she is portrayed. And I think it's in fairness to the writing of that, but also because of Trieste and how how good she is as an actress. So I really do think that, that she could really pull off this role really well. I know it's an option that not a lot of people will probably think of. I mean, when I've looked online, a lot of people have said, oh, I want Lena Headey to play her or someone else. But I think Trieste could do a really good job as the character. And I know it's one that I think that Mr. Declan McKinney will certainly agree with. But yeah, I'm going to go with Trieste Kelly Dunn to play uh, Tess. Now we go on to Tommy, and I would cast a guy who 
also is on Banshee. Don't worry, this list isn't going to be full of people who are on Banshee. I'm not. I try to even it out a bit, but um, the actor who I would pick to play Tommy would be uh, Peter Scannavino. Um I think like he would do a really good job as the character. Uh, he's done quite a few shows in America. Uh, he's been on like Hawaii Five-0, um, CSI. You know those kind of shows. He's appeared in quite a lot, few of them. He's also done a lot of uh, plays as well. Um, but he's really good. I've seen him in quite a few uh, American TV shows, and he's really, really good. And it, it's so unrecon, it's it's so random seeing his face because like sometimes he'll grow a massive beard and long hair, and that's when he looks like Tommy. But then other times he'll have no, he, he'll shave off his beard, and he's totally unrecognizable. But if he could rock the beard and the hair that he had in that one episode of Banshee, I think he could definitely pull off Tommy. He's going to obviously be younger than Joel. Um, so, and obviously the actor is younger than Hugh Jackman, so he'd be eligible for that. He looks a lot like Tommy, so yeah, it definitely would fit the role. I mean, what else am I supposed to say here? I mean, if the, as long as they look similar to the character and can act, I would cast them anyway. So yeah, I'd cast him as Tommy. Um, then my pick for... Bill would actually, funnily, funnily enough, uh, be uh, W. Earl Brown. Now, if that name rings a bell, that's because that's actually the guy who voiced and did mocap for uh, Bill in the actual game. And I didn't think of him at all until I actually searched him up online and found out that he actually does look a lot like Bill, which was kind of weird. I didn't think that he would, but if you search him up online... The comparisons are definitely there, so obviously obviously with the fact that he would have the same voice as Bill and, you know, would have has the same appearance as him, I think the only question would be whether the guy can actually like properly act, you know, in terms of live action rather than just being in a mocap suit, but because I haven't seen him in anything else other than The Last of Us, so you never know. It's a bit of a risky pick, but I couldn't really find anyone else who really struck me as Bill, so yeah, I went with the, his voice actor in the game because he does look a lot like him. Uh, then for Marlene, I would go with uh, Sonicwa Martin Green uh, for Mar Marlene. I know she's quite a popular one. Uh, a lot of people have been saying they want her to play Marlene for quite a few years. I think like since she like was in The Walking Dead. But I really do think that she could do good role in it. I mean, there are quite a few other good options you could go with. But I personally would just go with her because... She's the one that strikes out the most to me. I mean, obviously, with Marlene, she's a very strong female character. And with her with her, her character in The Walking Dead, I feel like the actress would be able to do a really good job in the role. Similar to others, I haven't uh, seen her in anything else other than this one thing. But she's good enough in that to convince me that she'd you know do a good job in this role. Um, and then lastly, for David... Um, we I have a guy here called John Hawks. Now, I'm going to be completely honest here. I have not seen John Hawks in anything. I didn't even know the guy existed until I think one of my friends pointed it out to me that the guy looked a lot like David. So I searched up online and he actually does. Like I said, I've not seen him on anything. I haven't seen him act at all, but I do believe he got nominated for an Academy Award. So clearly he's doing something right and, you know, he's very, very talented. So... Uh, he does look a lot like him. Like I said, there might be some other options, but when I saw this picture of him that my friend showed me, it just reminded me so much of David. And then the fact he's been nominated for Academy Award clearly shows he's got the acting talent, so he'd be my pick for David. And that's kind of it for my big brief casting. I know I didn't go through every single person. I missed out people like, you know, Robert, Sam, Henry, but I just wanted to go for a few characters that really came to mind very quickly for me. Or at least give a few of them, because, I mean, with some of them, I literally only got the idea for them because a friend just sends me a picture of them, and it's like, oh, yeah, they totally look like them. So, yeah, not all the cast, but let's just be completely honest here. The chances of this movie getting made are probably, like, zero to none. So, yeah, not very likely. But that's it for the video. Uh, be sure to let me know in the comment section below who you would actually cast in The Last of Us movie. What would your dream cast be? It'd be really cool to see how similar or different our lists are, whether we have similar picks or not. It'd be really, really cool. And yeah, with that all being said, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching the video and hope to see you again next time.